One more thing uh, I just want to add before we move on is uh, comments. So a lot of times it's valuable to make comments. So for instance, if I want to explain something about this value right here, I can put in comments just by doing this. So two front slashes. But you can actually put in a third front slash and you'll add something called the summary instead so you can get more information in here about what it actually is all about. If you do this to a function with a parameter like this, you'll actually also get a small parameter set of information down here so I can give an explanation about what the parameter is all about. And if I do it with something with an actual return statement, I'll even get that as well. So let me try and show you here. We have the customer as a return statement. So if I do the three front slashes, I'll actually also get information here so I can start in writing information about the return statement. This is very valuable, of course. When you come back to the code, if you put in some summaries, some information, others can use it and you can also export this to actual documents if you wanted to make some kind of documentation of your code. But don't do it for everything. Do it for things that makes value, things that are not that easy to understand for another developer or for yourself. So consider, don't add comments everywhere just because you can, like properties. Don't end up in writing for each property a comment like this. It'll just be too much information in my mind at least. Let me show you one more thing because comments are great, but you can also use something called regions. So I actually wanna explain that these two lines belong to a region called um, fake database. And what is a region? Well, you pretty much just write um, hashtag and then region like this and it'll autocomplete and if I tap, I'll get the region to start the region and the end region to show that I'm ending a region like this. And let me just um, move this from here. I'll just cut it and I'll put it below my two things that are required for my fake database down here. So I'll call this fake db like this. That is just the name, right? And now it pretty much means that I can now collapse this entire section right here, okay? So it gives me the possibility to actually start splitting my code up into smaller parts uh, per file. And that's pretty amazing. You could start making everything into regions so it would just be easier to read and there are shortcut keys to move through the regions. I don't think I'm going to show you that. Instead, let me show you an actual link to a lot of shortcut keys for the Visual Studio 2017. So here we have the Visual Studio shortcuts 2017. There are other ones as well. And here you can pretty much just uh, do a find and do a region and you'll see the shortcuts uh, as default. Of course, if you're using ReShub or something like that, they might be different. But here you can collapse regions with the shortcut keys. You can find regions, skip regions, stuff like that. So. Good luck with all the regions and all the comments. See you in the next lesson where we'll play more with code.